Hello, what's up, guys? It's uh, Zeno the Gear, and uh, welcome back, man, to another episode of uh, Ratchet and Clank Going Commando on the PC SX2 emulator in 4K, man. So, yeah. This episode right there, we're going to head over to Planet Grelbin. And uh, in this episode, we're actually going to do. I think we're going to grab some of the parts here for the. Uh, what the heck is that gadget called again, man? Anyway, I think we're going to go on uh, both of these planets a little bit and do uh, some parts of them. And uh, then we're going to do the rest of them in the next episode, pretty much, yeah. So uh, let's go, let's just go, man. Let's go. Alright man, here we go. I actually added it uh, or changed some settings in the emulator uh, just now. And uh, you guys could probably see that the game looks a little bit crisper. That's because I have uh, taken the resolution up to 8x instead of 6x. I can't quite remember what resolution 8x is, but uh, 6x is 4k so uh, this is actually a little bit over 6k uh, no uh, 8k but uh, yeah like the PlayStation 3 emulator looks a little bit crisper that's just because of the uh, upscaling method they use on this emulator right there for some reason it looks a bit blurry but yeah anyway the game actually runs uh, a bit smoother now as well, so uh, it's just a plus plus right there, man. Better graphics, better performance, better everything, man. So what can I say? Oh, oh man! It won't budge! Violence is not the answer. Can you move this rock, sir? I am able. And? Patience, young one. For the rock to move, the forces of the universe must align. So, can we make these forces align a little faster? Ah, yes. The holistic resonance of moonstones may yet guide these wayward forces. This guy right here, man. I just want some damn moonstones. All right, I think we gotta grab 10, or is it five? I'm not that sure, but uh, you guys can probably already see, man. I think the game would have lagged a little bit here before. But uh, basically what I just did is that I uh, turned up the um, CPU uh, speed setting in the emulator, which used to just slow down the game back in the day when I had uh, the 3700X CPU, but uh, might have forgotten to uh, check out that setting right now. And it might just be that uh, I'm also playing on the new Vulkan uh, graphics uh, API as well now, so push that as well, guys. Vulkan is just so good. What can I say? And it just came out, I can only imagine how nice it will be once they have actually configured it a little bit more. And this is on the 64-bit uh, version of the PCS X2 emulator as well, man. So it's just everything right there in one episode. <laughs> so many improvements, man. I should just start this uh, playthrough all over again. Nah. But I'm going to play this uh, in new game as well. But the uh, longer episodes, then I'm just going to do maybe three parts. And then maybe one in uh, new game plus as well. Which is probably going to be in mirrored, to be honest. Because I've never played through the whole game uh, in mirrored. So that would be pretty interesting, actually. I don't think there's that many uh, playthroughs of that. That will be pretty cool, man. It'll make the game look uh, completely different. That's the thing. I 
Only thing that bothers me a bit uh, about the mirror uh, cheat in this game is that Ratchet becomes mirrored as well. You should have made it somehow that he didn't become mirrored, you know? Just everything else. But I guess they just mirrored everything except for the, uh, the HUD, you know? Alright, so we need nine. Nine moonstones. Choose the mini, mini turret girl out there, actually. Ah, this weapon is useless. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Yeah, it's pretty useless. Yo, why isn't the lock on mod working on this enemy? God damn it. Lava gun. Mm. So crisp. Oh, there we go. Now it's locked on. Look how fast it just kills everyone. Around. Did so much damage to that uh, lizard thingy that the HP went backwards. <laughs> I guess he got minus HP. And the lock on mod didn't know what to do, so it just looks like he was gaining some more HP right there. I actually just need one more. Here we go. Let's just collect this as well. God damn it! Can I please lock onto you? Can I lock onto you, man? I guess I can't. He dead? Yeah, he is. Man, if only it would lock on. There we go, man. That was pretty swag. Oh, yes. Your arrival with the Moonstones is most fortuitous, for it is in this very moment that I am able to move the rock. <laughs> Gee, what a coincidence. Thank you, sir. That was most helpful. Your gratitude is comforting, child. I have also found a piece of something called a Hypnomatic. You may have it in exchange for more moonstones. Wait, I thought you had no need for material possessions. Please, do not lay your burdens upon me now. I am weary from lifting the rock, and I must rest. Of course. So yeah, now we need 16 more. And I think we can just grab him right now, man. But actually, now nah, we have to do this uh, section right here. That's right. Alright, let's do it then. I think we actually don't have to go to the next planet in this episode. We'll spare that to the next one, man. This is going to take a little bit longer than I expected, actually. Or than I remembered. Let's try to get this part uh, on our first try. Shouldn't be that difficult. Well, never mind. <laughs> oh, I remember I used to struggle so much with this as a child back in the day. But it isn't that difficult, actually. I, I don't know why I died just here. Yeah, there we go. We should be fine now. Ah, yeah. Perfect placement for the weapons vendor right there. Let's 
grab all the ammo we can get now. Wow, <laughs> actually got that on my first try, man. That's pretty insane. I gotta say, man, pretty damn annoying that you don't get uh, any pulse from these enemies right there. What's going on with that? I want the money. Where's the money? Do they just spawn in unlimited? Can't quite remember. But I do get XP from them though. Alright, let's kill these guys back here as well then. With the mini turret. Man, you're so damn useless. More enemies here, yeah, it is. I'm just taking a lot of unnecessary hits right there. Okay, Gonna have to grab that uh, platinum bolt there as well. I think it's a platinum bolt at least. Nope. Get him. Just playing hide and seek. Plasma coil it is then. Man, that's one ugly, t ugly texture right there, man. What's this supposed to be? I guess it's supposed to be metal with uh, some snow on, maybe? Or maybe some ice? I got no clue. Yeah, we got the two new armors right there. Damn, this armor is uh, really nice looking though. It's a smooth armor. Man, what's up with the blue? Man, what in the heck? Did they forget to remove his straps on this armor in this version of the game? Like those hanging uh, down from his helmets right there? Or at least in the armor selection it looks like. So it's just some untextured shit. Weird. Ah oh yeah, another fun fact about this armor right there. It's the first armor in the whole series that actually has uh, different boots. But the thing is, they programmed it uh, wrong somehow and they don't appear in game. But uh, they do appear in... Um, if you have one of the earlier versions of the game, like prototypes... You can uh, stop uh, the game engine uh, in the, uh, what's it called again, the debug menu. And then if you go on this armor right there and you make your ratchet like hover around and stuff like that, you know. And then he separates uh, himself from a helmet and his boots actually. And then if you go pick up a platinum bolt, these boots will actually reappear on his, uh, on his legs. But uh, as soon as you uh, resume the game, it will just go back to these, um, either these or the, the default ones right there. 
I did actually manage to get the correct uh, armor boots in Ratchet Clank 3 on uh, everything, but uh, as soon as you get charger boots or the magnetic boots and stuff like that, they actually go back to being uh, just like this again. Some really weird uh, quirks with these games, man, and the armors and stuff. I guess it's because the uh, like the boots are actually not attached to Ratchet right there, and same with the helmet. And uh, some weird ass coding, I guess. Really weird stuff, man. Not gonna lie. No! Oh god, no. There we go. We got it. Fast and Furious. Alright, let's go and uh, grab the rest of the moon crystals we need. Or moonstones. And I think we're going to save up for the bouncer here as well. Alright, let's go. Let's grab this ammo. Never mind. Already bought ammo. Just used a mini rocket tube. Almost upgraded it. Get away from me! Get him, plasma coil. Man, just a lock on mod on these enemies right there just won't work now. There we go. Almost upgraded. How many did I need? 15 or 16? Let's just get 20, then we get some extra bolts as well. And these guys really want to die, don't they? Plasma coil is actually pretty damn good here. Is it going to upgrade? Oh, barely didn't upgrade now. All of these expensive weapons. They don't got shit on the magma gun, man. What is it again? The meteor gun. <laughs> magma gun. Yeah, they don't got shit on the meteor gun, man. Just so good. Look at this shit. Look at how fast it kills them. Insane. That's rather right easy, man. This gun just makes the game easy. As long as you have, that's the thing as well. You have to have the lock on mod. Just without the lock on mod, like, look at this shit. It's actually useless. Can you please lock on? Alright, I guess not, man. I guess not. Bam bam. Get away from me! Damn bastards. Oh god. Holy shit, bruh. Alright, I better just get away right now before I die. Try to get a bit more. 
Oh god, no! Alright. Uh, yeah. There we go, we got 18, man. I'm okay with 18. We don't need any more right now, anyway. Uh, hello? We've got more Moonstones. No, you have not. What? Existence is a lie. Sensations are illusions. Possessions are merely visions. All right, I've got an illusion of some Moonstones. I'll trade it for a vision of that hypnomatic part. You have learned much, young one. Now bring me more moonstones, and riches shall be your reward. Riches. 74 more runestones. Oh mama Jesus, bro. But yeah, we're going to end off the episode right here, man. Goddamn hate this planet and I know a lot of you guys do as well. It's pretty much the worst planet in the whole game <laughs> And I think the community pretty much just agrees with that, you know But yeah guys next episode we're going to finish up the hypnomatic and Build it and uh, then we're going to come back here as well and uh, do the last part here So uh, yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next one man. Bye bye.